Good afternoon, everyone. Nice to be here. I agree with Sarah. It's time to move the needle on physical education and physical activity policies and practices in schools, and I'll focus my comments in this area. It's no surprise to hear that kids today are the most inactive generation in America's history. Yet what's mystifying is that as a nation, we're dedicated to racing to the top and closing the achievement gap, but we're disregarding emerging research showing that physically active and fit children tend to have enhanced academic achievement, and that simple strategies like physical activity breaks during the school day have been linked with better academic focus and behavior in the classroom. Physically active lifestyles also lead to lower rates of childhood obesity and related conditions. We tweak our educational curricula based on test scores, but we have yet to make a commitment to use physical activity and fitness data to systematically inform programmatic efforts. Children need 60 minutes of daily activity to promote health, and since they spend a significant portion of their day in school, it's critical that we all work together to help schools become hubs for quality physical activity, providing at least half of that requirement, or 30 minutes per day. I have two breakthrough actions to recommend. Number one, designate physical education as a core subject, as recommended in the 2013 IOM report, Educating the Student Body. This is foundational for lifelong health and learning and the only proven opportunity to deliver school-wide, high-quality, moderate to vigorous physical activity. We need a group of forward-thinking schools, districts, or perhaps states to take this on. These prototypes, armed with data on physical activity, health, academic performance, attendance and behavior, could provide the evidence we need to spark national change. Return on investment and cost effectiveness calculations would make this work even stronger. Number two, mandatory PE notwithstanding, there's another breakthrough idea, perhaps even more realistic in the short term, that could move the needle on the amount of physical activity ch children accumulate during school. And that is to utilize grassroots innovation and champions. We need to harness the innovation emerging in schools across America. Educators and parents recognize the need to get kids up and moving, and they aren't waiting for someone else to make it happen. At Child Obesity 180, we uncovered innovative, scalable physical activity programs from a national competition with over 500 applicants, and are currently working to replicate the most promising programs. Programs that work well in school environments, meaning that they're low barrier, low cost, flexible, efficient, equitable, and most importantly, provide an opportunity to work toward a common goal while having fun, should be implemented in all schools. Examples of these include in-classroom physical activity breaks, walking, running, and wheeling clubs, and all school workouts. I think the most rewarding visual I've ever seen is an entire school of five to 12 year olds on the blacktop outside exercising simultaneously with the entire school staff. That can be done at every school across America. And to implement these innovative physical activity programs, we need to inspire and incentivize local school-based champions. And these include teachers, physical activity educators, administrators, parents, nurses, cafeteria workers, and the list goes on. We found that through our community-based obesity prevention work, the champions are key to success at the local level. And they come in all shapes and forms. They create momentum as early adopters, and they can serve as role models, and importantly, they inspire peer-to-peer -peer networks. In conclusion, these two ideas, physical activity as a core subject and innovative physical activity throughout the day, could help bend the obesity curve and change the physical activity levels of America's children. And as a first step, I encourage everyone to access a dozen partners who are part of Let's Move Active Schools, 
a new organization established as part of Let's Move that is bringing together the leaders in policy, technical assistance, and programmatic activities to help schools take on the challenge of getting kids more active. Thank you.